How's it going everybody? This is Beat the Bush. Today I'm going to review this AZIO keyboard set. Now the color scheme here, of course it's white and gold, so it tends towards the more feminine side. They do offer two other color schemes. Now I do have to mention that AZIO provided me these products to review. The pricing on these depends on how early you support them on Kickstarter. So this keyboard might be around $70, as cheap as you can get it. Now just looking at the color scheme, it looks very nice, right? It's white, it's gold. You don't really normally see keyboards like this. It has this gold trim all over it. But today I want to sort of dig deeper into this and just tell you about my experiences trying this product out, what you can expect from this thing if you do buy one for yourself. It does come with your USB-C cable. You can connect this wired or wirelessly through Bluetooth. USB-C port is right here. It supports three Bluetooth profiles, so you can just hop from one to another if you have more than one computer, sort of like a wireless KVM. Now, I did not get to pick what kind of mechanical keys these are, so I'm gonna pull one of these keys out. A little hard to pull off, and you can see that it's blue. These are mechanical blue key switches, and if I press it, let's listen for this. You can hear an audible click as you push down on it and you can also feel that there's like a little detent underneath. It's kind of like running your fingers across something. There's like a little bit of resistance as you push the key down. They have other colors which I will not explain because this is the keyboard and it comes with blues only and you don't really get a choice. This gold key over here, if you lift it off, you can see that the base material is kind of like a silver type thing. And then they plated it with this very shiny gold thing. And in my experience, this type of shininess, if you use this a lot, it's eventually gonna rub off. I don't know how durable this is, but that's my experience with any kind of material like this. If you use it a lot, um, you might start seeing what's underneath here, which is this color, which is gonna be kind of, kind of, kind of like a gray color, but you can, replace it with a fully white one. It does come with this white one and you just kind of push it back on and you're good to go. Same thing with the escape key. You can just kind of pull it off and attach back. Unfortunately for this knob here, you're not going to use it that much. So I don't think it's going to wear out that easily. And you know, this is the volume knob. You can also change the color scheme of the keyboard. I'm gonna turn off the lights to kind of show you what the color scheme look like. There's different modes for this thing. So you just press function and press down on this and then it has different kind of uh, display modes for the backlight and it's only white. You know, I got this one, kind of like a wave one and then kind of like it disappears after you push it and you know, different kind, horizontal wave. And then you got like a, like a disperse locally wave. Ah, this is kind of like, it constantly does this. Left, right wave, random stars, just whichever you really want. You know, it just kind of has a whole bunch of different ones. Personally, I like it just a solid color. I don't like it to be all flashy looking and just uh, give me one solid color, okay, <laughs> like this. And then you can, you know, change the brightness of this all the way to zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I think nine levels. It might be nine or 10 levels. So you can change the brightness of this thing uh, to your liking. Right now it's on the brightest. Looking at this from the camera angle, you are looking at it from, you know, a sitting angle and you can kind of you know, see through the cracks over here, the mechanical key underneath. So this is something that is, you know, I don't like too much being able to see the bottom. This is what you get because this is the kind of keyboard that doesn't have like a rim around. Some keyboards have a rim all the way around here kind of to contain everything like this. So you won't see the back light 
leak out from the bottom. And the styling of this thing, it's more like the keys are rounded, so then you don't have a border edge or anything. It does have a 5,000 milliamp hour battery, which is very, very beefy, but it requires this because the backlight uses so much energy. Each LED, to my knowledge, because I was an electrical engineer, consumes about 10 to 20 milliamps. So if you have, let's say, 100 keys, this is going to be one amp of usage. That means you can run this for five hours if it's, you know, all the backlight is on and you turn it on maximum brightness. Now let's take a look at the other things. I've always wanted a standalone number pad. Now I don't really care what it looks like. If it's gold here, it's gold here. But I just want the calculator function. I'm just gonna change the calculator. And then nine times nine, 81 minus one plus 0.25. Great, you know, calculator works. You got a very nice display. Let's see how many numbers there are. The whole nine digits that it'll display over here. And this also does have three Bluetooth profiles. And then you can pair it by going to Bluetooth. And then I'm gonna select the profile number one because that's the one I've been using. And then you can also check out the battery level by pushing function, the battery, you see right here, the battery. And then now it shows, okay, one, two, three, four, five, five for 50%. So if it's 100%, it's gonna light it all the way up to nine. It was at six earlier so it already consumed a little bit so this little unit thing you know very nice so normally i'm going to be typing like this typing 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 right and i don't like having a extra long keyboard over here where the number pad is attached because you have your mouse and you're kind of moving it over here but then sometimes you need to let go of your mouse and come back and do your typing. So if you have a number pad, you have to travel much longer between the mouse and your keyboard. So if you take out this number pad, well, all of a sudden you don't have a number pad anymore. And sometimes you need to use a number pad because you want to enter in spreadsheet stuff like $101.25, enter. And then the spreadsheet goes to the next entry and then you go 49.99, enter, right? But if you don't have this, you don't have number pad anymore. But the advantage of this is you have a mouse and you can move it every which way. And then when you, you know, keep on switching back and forth, you don't have to move your arm as much. And this is an advantage, at least to me, uh, enough so that I would get a 90% keyboard, they call this. But you can add back the number pad with this thing. And mostly I am a right-handed person. You can do a left hand you want because you can put this anywhere, right? I put this on the right side and I would put this on the right of the mouse, kind of like so. I'm gonna move the mouse around and then if I really wanna enter in some stuff real quick on the spreadsheet, then I'll go, oh yeah, 49.99, blah, 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 you know? Very, very quick number entry, data entry basically. And you know, me being an engineer, sort of, um, I like to enter in numbers and multiply them and sum them up and all that stuff on spreadsheets. So now let's take a look at the Bluetooth mouse here. You got this gold band here, kind of like a stylistic thing. It's a Bluetooth mouse. It even has this RF module thing. If you don't have Bluetooth in your computer, you can just plug this right in. So that's a nice feature. These things work for Mac and PC. Uh, right now it's on Bluetooth. Yeah, if you want it to go on RF mode and use this little dongle thing, go ahead and do that. Uh, there's, a, you know, push this button to do the connection, Bluetooth connection. And it even has a double shot, what they call for the plastic piece, so that, you know, it looks kind of cloudy and then underneath there's like another layer of plastic. This is also this gold band and I also worry about this kind of rubbing off, but most of the time you don't rub here all that much on the mouse. The most frequent usage area is on the left click button here. So you're going to wear this down a lot. And not so much for the wheel here, but I do think that wheel, this is gonna start fading if you use it a lot. Close up of the wheel here. So it is colored that way. This is my least favorite of the entire set because it's not as ergonomic as I would want it to be because right now I have a vertical mouse. It, it kind of goes like this. And then the bottom, if you can kind of pull this bottom all the way here, you have your arm moving, you know, like this, right? And it takes a lot of strain off of your wrist. There's less carpal tunnel going on and I don't have any issue with the wrist anymore. 
uh, versus when you always have to go like this. Uh, it produces strain uh, around your wrist. But if you really want a full set, sure. You have this white keyboard, gold trim everywhere, matching mouse, matching number pad. You can show off to people, I guess. But, um, you know, I care more about ergonomics, so I probably won't use this mouse piece over here. But I really do like the wireless aspect of this because I don't have to connect it to a wire anymore. And I really enjoy this number pad thing. So that's what I think about this entire set. So that's all I have for the review of this AZIO keyboard set. If you guys are interested, check it out through the Kickstarter link down in the video description below. Don't forget to give me a like and subscribe for more. Thanks for watching.